All right, so got the header on. Uh, I guess the way that you torque these down, they're gonna start from the middle, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to read it, but it's kind of fucking hard to understand because everybody will say you start from the middle and you work your way out. Which is like, I guess you do maybe one, two, three, and then same way here. I'm not 100% how you sure how you do it, so I'm gonna have uh, either the exhaust shop or when my if my guy shows up, I'll have him uh, torque those down the spec how it's supposed to be. Um, tranny lines. So I got the tranny cooler in there. You guys can see it right there. I'll go down and show it, show it to you guys a little bit more in a sec. But I got the tranny lines coming underneath the motor mount. And I got a 90 here because I couldn't come out with a straight because it would hit the frame. Uh, I'm going to grab another 90. Come from here. Come straight through the bottom of here. Straight past the AC condenser. And then uh, I'll come up into the top of the training cooler up there. And then this line here gonna come down and then I'll 90 over here as well so yeah so that's what the plan is so kind of fed up with with this shit today just because like I said I'm not a mechanic I've never done this before and though people may say that routing transmission lines it's pretty fucking simple uh, I want everything to look fucking as professional as possible that's just why I wanted to pay someone to do it, but it is what it is. I like to learn anyway, so it's nice. It's just I would have liked, I would have liked to, you know what I mean, had a template or something to run off of as far as running these. Um, yeah, so I'll go to, I'll run to the speed shop tomorrow. It seems like that's the only place we can go to grab these AN fittings. I'll run and grab some of those, grab the radiator hoses and some, uh, I'll grab the radiator hoses, the heater, heater hoses, and, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll get everything uh, connected, see if I can get me a, a tranny uh, dipstick as well, pop that in there, and, uh, yeah, we'll see, hopefully, hopefully he comes so we can wire up the motor and we'll snug down these headers, and, uh, hopefully we can get it running, so, I will keep you guys updated. Again, these are the G body headers. Anybody who has a Caprice, this how they fit. If you can see down in there, I think it may it may be touching the frame, maybe a tad bit. I don't believe so. It's like off of the tranny case, maybe about half inch to a quarter inch. So, yeah, I didn't put this out on yet. I might, I might do it right now. This car is just kind of pissing me off right now, just because I wasn't planning on being, uh, been here this long working on this thing, and to find out that I didn't have the right piece is kind of pissing me off too. So yeah, we'll see what's going on. It's kind of taking longer than expected, but I guess when it's when it's done, I'll be a lot happier. We're so, following the build right on. Appreciate it. All right. So, put the header on the driver's side. Everything's going nice and smooth up until we get to this bolt here. Look at that. Where are we hitting them? Why doesn't it want to go in? A broken stud already in there, so just had a stand still. Kind of pissed off for the day, so that's it.